Well, good day, everybody. Brian here, and welcome back to the channel. From time to time, I uh, have to spray um, the projects that I'm working on, either with varnish or paint. Generally speaking, it's a messy business, you know, requiring rubber gloves and stuff so you don't get paint all over your hands. And I figured there's got to be a better way, and there is. Um, and it is by using one of these trigger grips. They aren't expensive, they're like $5 each from uh, the local big box store. And the basic idea is that they slip onto the neck of the can, the spray can. So this collar here will fit around the collar on the spray can. Like so. And when you squeeze the trigger, this arm depresses the spraying nozzle on the can. Sounds all well and good. However, I've discovered that there are some cans that it doesn't work on. Now, I don't know if this is new information that's being passed down by me or someone already knew that. But anyway, the idea is that when you press the trigger, it causes this arm here to move down on the spray nozzle. But on these cans that I've got here, these Dulux paint cans, it doesn't do it. It doesn't work. It doesn't even hold the can in the collar very well at all. I made a little Instagram thing over and I put it out there and uh, a fella from Queensland, David, he said, what about if you, you know, attached a small block to the end of this um, actuating arm here? Would that give you enough clearance to... And possibly it might. But I think the bigger issue with this can is that it doesn't really fit around the neck of the spray can properly. Um, it just, yeah, without, hard, without any pressure, it just will come out. But anyway, David's suggestion got me to thinking about, well, I wonder if it's the same for all spray cans or just this particular brand of spray can. So in the interests of science, I uh, had a couple of other cans in my shed and I thought I'd give it a try. So this is a different brand of paint. This is White Knight Squirts. Same deal. The collar just goes around the neck of the can. And activate, or squeeze the trigger, make the arm go down. And, well, what do you know, it works. Now I didn't just leave it there, um, I thought I'd try all the spray cans that I had, all the different brands of spray cans that I had in the shed. And uh, here you can see I've got a can of um, British Paints uh, Quick Dry Varnish. So I thought I'd try it on that can as well. This one's got a completely different nozzle set up as well you'll see compared to the, uh, the spray paint. But anyway, so I fit the uh, I fit the uh, trigger grip to this can of varnish, squeeze the trigger, and it works perfectly. So I had to have a quick look at the cans I, I, because, you know, the reason wasn't immediately obvious. So after I inspected the cans, I noticed that the neck of the Dulux can is actually quite rounded. And there's no space underneath that silver part there for the collar to fit under. Now if you have a look at this can of red paint here, you'll see that the collar is quite square and there's a gap underneath, which makes the collar, uh, sorry, the collar of the uh, trigger grip fit snug and underneath. Well, there you go. So that's that. But you'll also notice that there's a fair bit of height difference between the two triggers, uh, the two uh, spray nozzles. You can see this white one's quite a bit sort of taller than the black one. So contrary to my um, my little Instagram post, I haven't really wasted my money. I just need to uh, be sure not to buy the Dulux paint in the future. Um, it won't work with these trigger um, grips. That's it for now. If you've got any questions or comments about these trigger grips or similar kind of devices, um, stick them in the comments below, that'd be really good. Uh, feel free to share this video with your friends if you think it's worth anything. 
and feel free to subscribe too. That'd be awesome.